everybody, I'm Francesco from the NMS governance team and today I'm very excited to showcase you a new feature that we have been working on in the past days. That is ICP staking rewards. So let's dive into that together. As soon as you log in into the application, you can notice a new card in the right hand side of the screen. That is ICP governance rewards. What is this? What are those numbers and where are they coming from? So let's review all of them together. Reward balance. What is that? It's pretty simple. It's, uh, let's say you have 10 neurons and uh, each of them has a stake. Each of them has uh, participated into the governance, is accumulating rewards. And this is the sum of all of that. Um, important to notice is that uh, this burst maturity is not counted in here. So we take all your ICP neurons, each of them may have different maturity accumulated, and we sum that. That is how much you have accumulated until this point, excluding what you have already disbursed. Then, on the right-hand part of the card, we have staking ratio. That, for me, is like 50%. And this is also very simple. It's just... How many ICP tokens I have staken out of how many I have. So in my case, I have roughly staken half. And this is an important metric because uh, the idea is that you log in and you see, um, did I forget to stake something? So maybe you had some leftovers that you did uh, maybe move around, but you did forget to stake. And here you can immediately see if you have something that uh, maybe it was not staken and uh, you can improve it by staking it and getting more rewards participating to the governance. And now let's go to maybe what is the most interesting thing, seven day estimate. Hmm. What is this exactly? So to make this metric, we did model uh, the full life cycle of a neuron and we ran a full simulation of all your neurons for seven days and uh, each of them will accumulate some uh, uh, reward with some all of them for those seven days period and this is how much you can uh, expect roughly in seven days of course it is an estimate we have to make some assumptions like for example that you will be fully participating into the governance either directly or via following but it should give you a nice ballpark to reason about and now let's go to another very important feature that we added as well. And that is APY and max APY. What is that? APY is annual percentage yield. That means roughly how much in percentage you can expect to gain in a year if you stake and participate into the governance. The max APY is the max theoretical value. So APY is... How much you can expect with your current settings if you don't modify anything. Max APY is how much you can expect if you did fine tune all the little things to maximize your rewards. Uh, so let's look into this a bit more in detail because it's very important. For example, here in the table ICP staking balance, we have APY and max APY, a new column that we added to the table. And we can say that both numbers, the current and the max, are 13.82%. Why are they equal? Because in my case, I did want to get the maximum possible rewards and I did fine tune everything so that my current APY is equal to my maximum possible APY. And uh, let's have an example actually. So let's open this neuron that is giving me at the moment, as you can see, 13.82% of estimated, uh, of course, is an estimation. Because how do we calculate this? We do the same as for the seven day estimate. We did model your neurons and we run a full simulation, not for seven days, but in this case for a full year. And then we sum what you are accruing and we compare that to how much you staked and we figure out what is your annual percentage yield. This is taking in account into everything like dissolve delay, age, um, as well, auto staking, all the possible parameters. And a very important thing to take into account if you want to maximize your rewards, there are three things that you have to think about. First of all, is that your neuron has to be in a locked state, not in a dissolving state, it should be locked. Second, 
it should have the maximum possible dissolved delay time. So in this case, for recipe, it's eight years, and you can see that my neuron has eight years of dissolved delay and it is in a locked state. And then the third thing that is very important to, to turn on is automatically stake new maturity because this will be compounding and this will have a compounding effect. So just for sake of an example, let's try to remove the option to auto stake maturity. And we can see that as soon as we do that, my current APY drops. Now it's not more equal to the maximum, but is a bit less because I'm not out of stake in my maturity. And uh, this is very important. So with this metric that we calculate for each neuron, you can immediately see if some of your neurons are not fully optimized and uh, taking into account the three little things that I said before, locking state, max dissolve delay, out of staking, you can also reap the maximum possible rewards. Since I also want them, let's turn auto staking back on. And you can see this new matrix, the PY and max PY, here in the neuron detail, as well as in the neuron staking page, as well as in the home page. Um, we are doing a simulation of your neuron. So in order to calculate this matrix, you should have at least one neuron. In projects that you don't have neurons, we are not able to calculate it. But as soon as you create a neuron, you can immediately see if it is well optimized and how much roughly you can expect as an APY and max APY out of your staking and participation into the governance. I hope this will be helpful for all of you to maximize your rewards as well and that you did like this video and I'll see you in the next one.